Hello and welcome back to Caves of Cud. How are you doing? Um, so I've done some work on the golem. Uh, you can have a look at what I've done here. Um, I'm gonna go with the wave waveform worm's tail. Um, for a couple of reasons, I I think that I am gonna go with uh sad amos clone of sad amos as my body. Um, so basically I'm gonna make it a human golem. I know that's kind of boring, but um, I think that this is the way that I want to make my first golem. Um, I want to, I, like, I really want to use the swarm rack. I want them to be able to use the swarm rack. So I just think that that would be a lot of fun. Um, but as long as I'm using Sad Amos as the base, I kind of wanted to mimic Sad Amos in, like, combat style. So I think that the waveform worm's uh, tail is actually a really good way of doing that because it will kind of mimic the way that they jump around with their jetpack. It's also just really cool. I'd, I'd like to be able to try using that. That's a it's a neat ability. Um, it also goes along with the long blade like we have been using a long blade because of our stinger but um, our golem using a long blade because they are actually based on sad amos which would be really cool. Um, extra move speed mostly to model my own playstyle and because it's good and um, I had to go with electrical generation for uh, the potential uh, of that swarm rack so the only thing we're missing is um, sad amos and the catalyst now the catalyst I am um, not satisfied with what we currently have and the problem is is that what we currently have is um it's it's very ho-hum i would like to use sun slag i would like to get that extra quickness from sun slag so that um you know creates a problem it's very difficult for us to get sun slag if basically we don't have um an, a legendary icker merchant so is this the time we go and search for a legendary Iker merchant? I don't know. Um, it's 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 a real problem. Like I could go and check out. Um, do, 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 do. Where is it? Six day stilt. We could go. Uh, do I have any books, by the way? I do have a few books. Let's just go ahead and hand those in. Six thousand XP. That's not bad. Um. We can go and check out our Iker Merchant, but they, they have been pretty not great. I, I think I bought one Neutron Flux from them, or at least... Oh, okay. So they do have a Neutron Flux. Um, I will buy that. I actually, I don't have much of any of my actual trade goods, so it'll be a little bit difficult to buy that, but we'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, let's do... Emergency services security card and oh, there we go. Yeah, that's that'll do it um, Wow, this chain gun is worth 1600 that's insane um, Oh, and we'll sell an albino uh, a belt. Let's actually do one less cybernetic and then try and make up the rest with like Trade goods. Get rid of some stuff that we don't need anymore. Like, for instance, a water skin of oil. Like, yeah, useful, but not necessary. Cool. <clears throat> um, alright. So. That was something. I mean, it's, it's Neutron Flux, but we need Sunslag. And I have been drinking all our Sunslag, so I'm not sure where... Or we can go. I do wish that um, it was easier to obtain advertisements for like other workshops. I wonder if we went to Kyakukya. Do you think? I, I don't know. Does um, what's his name? I can't remember his name. Uh, does he renew? Does he get new advertisements? Something tells me that he doesn't. But we'll ch we'll we'll um, check it out anyway. Uh, Nuntu. What do you got? You don't have it. You don't have anything. <sighs> Searching through the jungle is going to be kind of a pain. 
we could i mean you know uh i did spend uh, how many episodes searching through the the salt desert why not do another like 30 episodes of me searching through the uh the jungle but before we do anything like that um there's something i would like to do uh someone in my comments in fact i, I should just like you know call them out by name hold on a second because i they uh I, i'm very bad with names rorax rorax plays was uh letting me know that um it would be a good time to start farming a particular kind of uh good now i didn't actually understand what they meant but we're gonna go to the palladium reef and uh, very this, this is actually perfect um we just got our neutron flux we have actually let's have a look here this might be like really good timing we've got our warm static we've got our neutron flux I don't think that there's anything else that we really need. Um, we're gonna go and oh no, they they failed though. We're gonna go and uh, find Olam. If you know who Olam is, you'll know they're kind of a big deal. Wow, we get 400 XP from these guys still. What is that gas? Scalding steam. Oh yeah, that can that, that stuff can be a nightmare. Um, I'll pick up a flawless crystal agus sure. Um, we're lost right now, so all we really need is to find a clam. I'm not seeing a clam on this screen. Every single time we enter a new screen, we run the risk of discovering where we are. Ah. This is not going to be an easy thing to do. Um, I've done it in the past. But by cheating, basically. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove our precinct navigator, because that actually makes it easier for us to, uh to travel without being lost and we want to be lost this is how you find olam by the way this is one of the reasons why now uh, whenever i play this game i never let's see where is it where is our wayfaring rivers and lakes i never take uh, rivers and lakes ever um because for specifically this reason because i want to be able to get lost easily um if you have wayfaring it it's very difficult go to some ruins sure we'll check out some ruins i suppose by checking out some ruins i'm giving myself a potential way of finding like re regaining my bearings and making this more difficult but as it stands right now it's it's a lot easier than if you have wayfaring it's so difficult to get lost in the in the lakes if you uh if you have the wayfaring i gotta say I, i've become very accustomed to this clairvoyance okay so i'm just looking for a clam to, to hop into we need a clam um but yeah, if you if you don't know what any of this means, basically there's a hidden oh there's a clam. Let's uh, without it uh, I won't explain it. I'll just do it. Jump in. You hear a sloop and the world around you warps and shifts violently. One dram of neutron flux evaporates from your inventory. The timing on that was kind of insane. In the midst of your disorientation, you find a passageway to another dimension. Does this place have its own music now? There, there they is. Olam. Who's this? What, just an exa, exa thixel? Uh, I'm not on good terms with fish, so I'm going to try and do this without fighting the fish. You ask about your location and are no longer lost. So, uh, used to be, this is the only entropic being highly entropic being that you can speak to talk to really i mean th that might not be true canonically like it could be that all extra dimensional creatures are highly entropic beings but as far as i understand this is the only one that you can share a dram with it used to be that highly entropic beings took neutron flux to make friends with um but now it takes warm static they are loved by highly entropic beings and mollusks 
Disliked by the villagers of Tishur, disliked by the Gersh, disliked by newly sentient beings. Usually I would, um, you know, say no way, Jose, but we'll, we'll do this. Highly entropic beings increased by 125 to 15 because they love Olam, your reputation with mollusks increased by 100. And I lose 50 rep with a few people. Uh, it sucks that I'm now on bad terms with the Gersh, but we can get that back up again. Um, share a secret with me, warm static sib. Uh, I have some gossip that may interest you. There, have some gossip. It doesn't seem to me like they have any special things. Um, I guess learning a secret would be kind of neat. The problem is, is that I'm kind of trapped in this screen now because I don't have a second dram of warm static. So if I'm going to find a secret from Olam, now would be the time. Shares the location of Dur Dursishur. That could be cool. Um, so now, yes, this is, this is the business right here. This is the business. They sell extra dimensional objects. Apparently they sell a small stone as well. Can you, can you, you won't identify that for me? Kind of interested in what that is. It's probably a stone to grid gate. Portable wall, extra dimensional emerald mimic figure. Extra dimensional antimatter cell. What does that do? In the dimension, having inherited some properties from its home dimension, the expanse of P. So, um, psychic meridian. Plus four MA failed psychic attacks against you cause the attacker to hemorrhage. The extra dimensional is a very, very strange extra effect. Um, it's really kind of hard to even tell you what it is because it's random. Um, it gives you a ran it gives the object a random effect. Um, and that effect can be extra mutations. It could be extra abilities. It could be extra uh, attributes. It's, it's a very, very powerful thing. Um, we would like to buy a few things from Olam, but the thing is, is we need trade goods. Now, you might have noticed the other pearl, which is a extremely valuable good. What, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to use a metamorphic polygel on our water skin. I didn't, I, I bet you didn't think I was going to be doing this again, huh? On our water skin of cloning draught or draft. This is going to give us an extra 30 drams of cloning draught. Um, what I'm going to do is actually pour into another container this one. I'm not, I'm not going to do all of it. I'm actually only going to do five drams. I really don't want to be on bad terms with that fish. I hope that if the fish attacks me that I don't cause some kind of horrible cascade effect. So now we go down and we go to our 35 drams and that's going to be 30. Oh, it's still not enough, actually. Hmm. I feel like 50 drams would be enough. Okay, let's um, let's do this properly. First of all, I'm going to just walk away from this fish to make sure that they're not uh anywhere near me let's go ahead and go down to our trade goods again or sorry our uh water skins let's go ahead and pour this into our other water skin so we have and then uh, yeah i am actually going to do this again mostly because the thing is is i i need to break it up into uh more you know like i need to sell basically 40 ish drams of cloning draught and if i'm going to be selling 40 drams of cloning draught i may as well um you know get get our the most out of it before i do that right so um what we'll do is i'm gonna go ahead and pour into another container this and so we have our you know a, a full water skin of cloning draught 
And let's just see how much 56 gets us. Doing my best to dodge around that. Um, you know, I would like... Oh, these these are just normal flawless crystal gauntlets. Some, for some reason, I thought that they were extra dimensional, but they're not. Like, I'd like to buy all of this. I wouldn't mind buying the Null Ray Pistol, but I don't know if that's worth it. I would like to buy the Extra Dimensional Psychic Meridian. That would be kind of cool. I'm pretty sure I can mod that. So, you know, okay. So we got 54,000 uh, drams is how much we need to, to give them. So, um, yeah, okay, we can do this. So we can sell them 56 drams of cloning draft. That puts us way over, but we can make the we can split the difference with uh, by buying some more stuff. I think, maybe not, actually. Oh no, we can. We can buy um, these two things: extra dimensional ogre. Oh, give me a sec. Yeah, right, sorry about that. All right, so I think what we'll just do here <laughs> is. Well, I kind of want to check out this sun and moon and leather boots. Uh, oh, wait a minute. We need we need to take things off. I, uh, no, let's grab those. And um, then we'll just like a uh, throw a couple of gems on here. Perfect. All right. So we grab the other. Wait, what? You don't have 120 drams. Oh, I'm I'm not. I'm not square still. Okay, um, let's throw an agate on there. Good now? You have to pony over one dram. Wow, I managed to get that down to one dram, huh? I impress myself sometimes. So, uh, I hope you enjoy that um, 56 drams of cloning draught. Oh, lamb. It's been a slice. Uh, maybe one day I'll come back and uh, we'll tangle. I've, I've seen what that looks like and it's kind of a nightmare, but you know, there's no way uh, before you, you know, just in case you're wondering, uh, should I make a, repro a programmable recoiler and imprint it here? Uh, there's only one way to come back here and it's the way I just did. So uh, you find a passive passageway back to your home dimension. We're back. That was Zim Zim <laughs> Zimslum. Zim Zim Slum. And, uh, yeah, no, we. Apparently, we've been here before. Is this a ruin? Oh, we have a memory eater. Um. Hey, we should grab some memory eater parts. Why not? But, yeah, we. We. You know, we have some new trinkets to play with. Um, we'll have to check out what those are. I don't know if I can put anything on my left arm. Oh, I can put the other pearl on my left arm. So the F, <laughs> the other pearl, a, a part of me kind of doesn't want to even mess with it. <laughs> um, oh, I got an achievement for doing that. Um, plus two MA, this item's DV bonus is being averaged across all body parts. Plus 40 Psychic Glimmer. And plus 300 Reputation with Highly Entropic Beings. Objects you find are five times more likely to come from other dimensions. That, uh, that sounds good, but it's still a low chance. However, we could if we wanted to um, polymorph this like several times and then wear a bunch of them. I'm pretty sure they will also go in the floating nearby slot. I'm not sure about that one. But yeah, you can... You can you can do some shenanigans with this thing. I don't know if Nano and Fingers actually improves those odds as well. Percentage-based effects are three times as likely to occur. Well, I don't know if this the other the other pearl effect is uh, a, a percentage effect. I don't think it is, so I guess it doesn't count. But anyway, this gives us um, an opportunity to find more. Find more extra dimensional objects. We should um, definitely have a look at the ones we gained. Uh, we have more. We've, we've got all kinds of stuff going on here. 
We got tongue tyrants. We could uh, zap the tongue tyrant a, a few times. Like, I'm pretty committed to what I got. I like the waveform worm. Do we get any XP from these guys? 412. Uh, I, I think... I think the tongue tyrant just tongued us into a clam or did I just like accidentally walk into a clam? Carrying too much to move. Oh, yeah, what was a small stone? Extra dimensional Kyakuka recoiler. Woo, what does that do? Um, well, I almost don't think it matters what it does. What is this? Electrified extra dimensional flawless crystal greatsword. Um, that's tempting, actually. Uh, unfortunately, like, we don't have a hand to spare. But that's. Oh, does this take two hands to wield also? Um, can't tell. It's a greatsword. Long blade increased. Uh, Plus one willpower. That's what that one does. That's that's pretty cool. Uh, extra dimensional night vision goggles. <laughs> we finally found our night vision goggles for uh, the troll and they're extra dimensional. These have plus 10 heat resistance. So that's like, that's what the extra dimensional does is it just kind of adds an extra thing. Um. What does this one do? I don't think this does anything. I don't know. I don't know if it does anything. Do we have any artifacts? We do. Um, might just keep the precinct navigator off. I don't think I need it anymore. Uh, I'm pretty sure lecture stained band is also... It gives us two AV. Sorry, uh, sorry, two clair levels of clairvoyance. So it is... It is you know viable but is it good i don't know um we are getting most of our clairvoyance from kessel face i guess the real test is if i took this off can i still uh do the entire screen yes okay so we definitely no longer need to wear that still carrying too much to move also hey there's a, a legendary uh, mechanist over there I need to drop some things. What do I drop? Oh, I am carrying 40 pounds. When did that happen? Something is weighing me down. It's probably a melee weapon. Nope. Ah, it's a missile weapon. I, I picked up a blast cannon. Let's get rid of that. I'm still carrying too much. Uh, we could drop this shield, I suppose. Yeah, let's drop the shield. I don't care about it. Where are we? Oh. We can we can kill a couple Spartim. They only give us 25 XP now, but those are just the, the small Spartim. What is this guy? I don't think I've ever seen this guy. Wardom of the Sanctum. Yeah, we're on bad turn with Gersh again. That kind of sucks. Not gonna lie. Hated by vines, disliked by cannibals. Well, we'll share a dram. This guy is likely to have uh, some stuff also. Um, what does he have? Yeah, he's got an Eater's Nectar Injector. He's also got an AI microcontroller. Or AI Master Unit. Um, I'm just gonna buy this stuff. I don't think it's worth handing over, you know. <laughs> Let's just sell the extra dim dimensional Karakuka recoiler. I don't think it does anything extra. I don't know. Is important. Are you sure you want to trade it? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I shouldn't trade that. But like, what, what could it possibly be useful for? Um, I'm just gonna go ahead and use that Eater's Nectar. Listen, I know, I know I could, you know, we could cook with it. 
and it's useful oh a point of intelligence damn <laughs> that makes uh, that, that kind of feels bad actually that's like the one attribute i would prefer not to get extra points in because i just i just spent our like a very valuable attribute point on getting it to 39 okay i don't know what we're doing here we're, we're, we we can leave um so now like we have here's a here's the dangerous thing we have 92 glimmer i think it's finally time to hang uh hang our hat on temporal fugue um that's gonna remove our glimmer by not enough by a small amount at least oh god it really is a lot like we have a lot of glimmer um we have a lot of glimmer and and you know what do you do about that especially when you're carrying an extra 40 glimmer because of the other pearl um let's go ahead and wear this extra what does this one do oh this gives us no way no this gives us light manipulation <laughs> oh that's really fun actually that's so much better than temporal fugue I mean, is it though? We have really good ranged weapons. We don't really need lays. It's super cool, but do we need it though? Uh, I do want to wear these extra dimensional um, night vision goggles specifically so that we can go and make friends with that last troll. Uh, replace the cell with, I guess we could make it jacked. Just put a, just put a solar cell on it for now. Excuse me, I had, to, I had to sneeze. I spared you from that evil. Let's uh, go to Bethesda Sousa real quick. Yeah, I am going to do this now. May as well. I'm lost in the canyons. Who knew? Come on, pig. Stop stopping me. There we go. Regain your bearings. Uh, I could put our precinct navigator back on, maybe? Yeah, we could. Um, definitely I'm gonna have to rethink my build a little bit. Like, there's good, you know, it's an... Our, our actual build is amazing. Oh, legendary Snapjaw. Loved by Snapjaws, disliked by the Merchant's Guild and Succulents, sure. I'll, I'll take uh, reputation with the Merchant's Guild anytime. Oh god, that's so good. It's, I, honestly, it feels kind of nice to get back to our chain laser. So yeah, we're gonna go and make friends with our last, uh, with the last troll real quick. It's been pending for far too long. Um, I should be able to see them. Yeah, there they are. Um, what was their dislike by mysterious strangers water barons? Yeah, this is fine This is totally fine We gained uh, we have 100 reputation with trolls Now disliked by water barons, that's fine Um, yeah share a secret with, with me Location of ruin of house is near of all of the things you could have told me about that is probably on the bottom of my list Ah, there it is. Location of Kindrish, the ancestral bracelet of the Hindran. That is something I do care about. I would like to obtain Kindrish. It is a very powerful item, as I understand it. And um, I don't know if you can actually return it to Bela. I think I'm on like shaky terms with Bela also. Negative 242. Um, not on horrible terms, just sort of on not good terms. I think we did learn the location of a new settlement. Named location, no, um, where is it? Settlements. Oh, oh no, these are GoFolk village. I was like, oh, look at all the villages we haven't been to. GoFolk, 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 that's sure. Wait a minute. There's a couple of them I haven't been to. There's the sure. There's the sure. Um. Go folk, go folk, go folk. Mesh, Furrow. 
It was, it was almost some like backwards speaking talk. Homestead. I mean, we can go and check out the homestead, I suppose. Why do I care about uh, named locations or settlements? I want to go and... Um, I, I, I want to go and uh, check out the villages we haven't. Maybe do some quests for them. And uh, make some more progress on the Slynth quest. So, where where is our village? This is uh, Mushra Baz Furrow. This is um, Homestead. Yeah, we don't really care about those. What about down here? What is this? Dursishur. Okay, let's go to Dursishur. I'm just going to go ahead and click it. Actually, I... Uh, Wow, instantly lost. Very good. Notice some ruins. I guess I'll check out some ruins on the way there. Always worth getting some extra ruins in our catalog. Extra ruins, sure. Forgotten ruins. All right, now we should be close enough. I just didn't want to end up in the rainbow wood by accident. Let's go to Dursishur. Village of Dursishur. Yeah, this is another village I have not explored. Um, actually, I was, I was going to do an auto-explore, but you know what? Boop. There is a lot of goat folk here. A lot of goat folk. Are they all legendary? Uh, no, they're, they're, they're fungled. That's what's up. Loved by the villagers of Dursishur. Disliked by the villagers of Tad. Farmer's Guild. I think we're on very bad terms with the Earthopatarian flock. What, how's our villages of Tad rep? I don't want to be trading one rep, uh, one village rep with another. Tad is at negative 160, so I'm actually totally fine with this. Uh, Dursashur is actually not cool with us, so we'll have to... It's a long road to travel here. Um, I'm looking for work. Speak to Raba to the west. Um, Raba, go folk shaman of the clan of Yur. I'm hoping there's enough legendaries here that we could be on good. Ah, uh, hated by the Chava, Chava the Tree of Life, but then also admired by Chava the Tree of Life. Okay. Um, they are disliked by villages of Kigapur. Kigapur, we're actually on sort of semi good terms with, but I think this is worth it. Now favored by the by Chavo, the Tree of Life. Okay, I'm, my services are available. Find the other Raba. Sorry, this is not Raba. This is Raba. Sorry. Um, okay, find uh, Raba, the village tinker. There seems to be uh, a kerfuffle happening, brewing. Rabba the village tinker is not legendary. I'm looking for work. Live and drink, friend. My ploy is nearly complete, but there is but one more step. I need someone to go to Ivory Proximal Namr uh, Ritum and pray at the shrine to Meth... Meth Remed. I mirror spinner there. Uh, one mirror spinner there. No, I cannot tell you why. Okay. I can do that. But um, before I go, I do want to check out like basically everyone here. Make sure that I make friends with all that. Why are y'all fighting? Loved by villagers of Dish hated by the denizens of Freehold. Eat Freehold. Uh, how's our Eat Freehold rep? We're okay. I, I would like to be on good terms with this village. I think this is a good candidate. For, uh, for a slint because there seems to be a lot of um, legendaries here that we can share drams with. And I want to do this as quickly as I can because it seems to me that everyone is fighting and dying. Hated by Merchant's Guild, hated by Grazing Hedonists. That sucks, but I'm still going to make friends with them because we're very quickly raising the ranks. Um, we can spare a little bit of merchant and grazing hedonist rep. Okay, um, next up is 
Barra ba twice talker. Baraba is disliked by the villagers of Nepad, admired by urchins and cats. We're actually gaining quite a bit of good reputation here. If only there was a cat represent. Um, we could potentially, you know, have the Slinth join cats. Okay, what about you? Admired by the villagers of Ezra, hated by birds and water barons. This is great. I love this village. Um, next up is the village mayor. They should have some reputation. Yeah, I'm um, disliked by oozes, but that's okay. I think we can spare some ooze rep. We're, we're good. This is gonna, go folk are now indifferent to me. Yes. Ah, that is so good. What a savory smell. Teach me to cook the favorite dish of Durishur. Air rubbed far loaf. <laughs> Pass. Um, all right. Goat folk shaman clan of Ibrix, I think it was. There's a lot of goat folk here. Good lord. Um, disliked by crabs and worms. Sucks. Love crab rep. But we're doing this. We're very close. We could actually jo have the Slints join without even having to do their quest. Um, I think one more. There's another legendary. Is this is this a legendary? Are you legendary? No. Um, but we have goat folk shaman of clan Yur. I think that we have not shared a dram with them. Admired by oh no we did we did do them. Ah, uh, are we just like just barely short? Okay, well that's a bit of a bummer, but we have a quest. We can do their quest and gain some knowledge. Um let's do their quest. <clears throat> We haven't traveled to the historical site of Mabal, apparently. I have to go and check that out, maybe. Um, travel to Ivory Proximal Namertum. Is that a ruin? Ivory... No, I'm not seeing it in ruins. Is it ruins of becoming nooks? Not seeing it here either. Um, settlements, maybe? Not seeing it there. Can we do control F here? Nope. Um, name locations? Nope, that's my stuff. Artifacts? Oh, this is just, yeah, there's only three art artifacts in there. Layers? There's a few layers that we haven't been to. Should check those out when I can. Um, miscellaneous? Nope. Natural features? Nope. Oddities? Secluded merchant from the consortium of Fida. Guile. Um, where am I gonna find this? It's not a. I already checked in uh, settlements, but I'll check again. No? Hmm. I'll go through all of the ruins because this, the, you know, there's a lot of ruins here. We're looking for ivory. Oh, there it is. Ivory Rostral Enamertum. Oh, I know. Ivory Proximal Enamertum. That's what we want. Uh, 11 west and 7 south of Eid Freehold. That's uh, very close to here, I think. Yeah. And they want us to pray. Um... Oh, there's a Dromag Caravan here. Apparently, I've been here. They want us to pray at the shrine of uh, Meth or whatever, Mirror Spinner. 
pray. Voice a short prayer beneath the shrine. Completed the quest. We'll go back. No, I don't want to check out. Uh, I don't know, like, maybe we want to start making a note of uh, go Goat Folk Villages now that I have, uh, you know, I am on good terms with them. We'll go back to the village tinker. I wonder if there's another quest to do here. Now that, it, now that it really matters, I prayed at the shrine. Thank you for your services. We are now at 890. We could take a... Uh, I love the symbiotic firefly, but it's far, far too late for that to be viable. Um, so I guess I'll just take a corpus. I think that... Uh, we'll take the data disks because those are actually pretty good trade goods. Uh, I wonder if anyone else has like uh well i'm not gonna take another quest but let's go to the mayor and ask them to have the slints join them i encountered a people the slints is seeking a new home is that so i imagine you wish to know if they're sure they're so sure will host these slints to partake in gorging on the flesh of beasts by starlight alongside us um don't travel to the shire i am you have done much for Dursashur Anima Shram, and your request befits your stature. If these slints will join us in gorging on the flesh of beasts by starlight, and if they can come to cherish Mithrimed the second as we do, then we they are welcome here. Don't travel to the Shire. All right, you have my thanks. Dursashur and Fungus Patch is now a sanctuary option for the slint. So now we have four. Um, we're seeking like, I think six more maybe even seven i'm not sure how many is the max for this length but one more is a big deal um it's quite difficult to have candidates for this length so uh i'd like to check out i don't, I don't know if we have another uh potential village candidate but we'll go check out some others but uh, i think we also have a historic site we need to check out if you're enjoying this series definitely hit the like button and consider subscribing for more content like this i'll see you guys next time take it easy